Can I just say props to Tressa Gray? I am Tressa on Instagram and Twitter. Go follow him right now. This kid is actually sick. I don't even care. Honestly, he inspired me just now. I listened to this and I wanted to make an Afrobeat of my own. Therefore, I, I said, you know what, let me just pull the camera out and let's see what, what, uh, what's going to happen. So, I think we should just go through everything one by one. Uh, obviously, you know. This is just a kind of music based video, so if you want me to make a how to make a beat video, then obviously you know just leave that in the comment section below. But uh, honestly, this is something that I've already made before, um, I just made anyway. So, of course, you know, I'm gonna I'm let y'all listen to this fire right quick. Well, I think it's fire anyway. I hope that you guys can hear it. Just of it, yeah. So basically, I'm gonna just show you a little step by step thing. So, pattern one, I have all the percussion instruments. So, this is just basically you know, um, your bass drum, your rim, your I'm not sure if you can hear the egg shake in the background, you have a cowbell in there, that kind of thing. And honestly, like the essence of making an Afro beat is just basically just having something simple like this. Then all you need is a bass line and a simple melody and you're set. So, pattern two. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. That's just the bass line. That's just pretty much the basic bass line. Uh, what's pattern three? And then obviously. This is pretty much just like the thing that you're gonna hear throughout. It's it's basically you know just playing into the, like that melody type of uh, vibe to really help the bass line. So of course you know it's gonna be the same key and the same chords as the bass line, but obviously I'm playing just that wasn't it. <laughs> Pattern four, and then you have your snare. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Yeah. So basically, you just have your snare there. Uh, obviously, you know that's just gonna come in. Helps with the. It's basically just more percussion on top of more percussion. But obviously, I'd rather just have that added in later. You know what I'm saying? So I made it a separate thing. Uh, pattern five. Your typical guitar, of course. There's no Afrobeat on the. Well, I mean. Of course there are some Afrobeats with that guitar, what am I saying? But obviously, you know, like, quite a lot of Afrobeats use guitar. And obviously, like, that just makes it more memorable for me anyway. This is pattern six. And basically, just what that is, is just, it, it's just basically this. Except I'm actually just holding the, the chords down now. So honestly, like really, you just need three simple chords. Like uh, even something as simple as if I can just find the piano. Oh, for those of you that don't know, yeah, man's a musician, isn't it? Man's a triple fretender. Let me. 
So basically, <laughs> um, for pretty much just a simple Afrobeat, just anything quite simple, you just need three separate chords. So the ones that I think are easiest for people, I'm not sure if you guys can see, it's a. Uh, and obviously, if you play that in an Afrobeat style. Know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, just that kind of thing. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm on the triple fret in that. Get me out here playing piano and that. Hey, holla at me. Obviously, you know, DJ Khaled, shout me, innit? Uh, so we'll skip to pattern A, which is. It's just basically the guitar playing the uh, main chord. So it's just, you know, da -da, da -da, da -da. just that. So obviously, you know. You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. So it just helps add onto the melody, just make it something much more A powerful. Um, high line. So more percussion. We have our toms now. Yeah, yeah. So that's just pretty much just pattern nine, then pattern ten. So of course, uh, this is just a simple piano melody. Um, but pretty much that's, that's just a simple melody to help. Of course, you know all the other things that I've shown you before. Uh, can I even count? Do I even have pattern eleven? Pattern eleven. There's my cover. Yeah. I'm weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much more percussion. Honestly, like, I, I wouldn't say go overboard because there is such a thing as too much percussion, too much of one thing, but obviously, like, if you manipulate it, I think it will sound good. They're pattern 12. Just another little melody that I came up with. But then pattern 13. That's pretty much just, um... Pattern 12 and 13 are pretty much uh, meant to pair with each other, they're like harmonies. So uh, these two are just meant to like kind of be together, you know what I mean? And then 13. Know what I'm saying? They're meant to like fit together, that way it just makes it more full. So let me just reactivate everything else. Oh my gosh. There's probably an easier way to do this, obviously like, I'm still kind of new, I'm still kind of learning how to use Fruity Loops, this is a Fruity Loops, this is a FL Studio, um, but yeah, that's that, so that was a 12 and 13, do I even have 14? No, it doesn't look like I did, well this is if I can, st uh, I'm just going blind, I'm even more blind than I am now, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Right, so. That's pattern 15, so I think that's really like, it kind of helps the bass come out more and make it really feel like a, something that you're going to groove to. And pretty much that's just it, and then um, when you put everything together, uh, you just get this. Hope you guys can really hear it. Um, but really, that, that's just pretty much it. I just wanted to make a small little video. Um, but you know, hopefully you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, if you feel like you can, uh, you know, do something with this, like, let me know. Like, I'm actually looking for people to sing vocals on this because I've already got like a hook and a melody kind of thought of. And really, if you, if you guys think you can help it, by all means, please just hit me up. Um, but yeah, if you like videos like this, just be sure to uh, just hit the like button, subscribe. That's how I know you like these kind of videos. I'm gonna aim 100 subscribers a month. That's what we're going to do, yeah? So, of course, only you guys can make that happen. So, obviously, be sure to share this video if you can. And, obviously, it just takes two seconds of your time to subscribe to this channel. So, please be sure to do that. But, aside from that, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. And this is me gone, signing out. I don't know what to do yet, innit? Man still needs to figure something out. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.